running for? The sunset. <laughs> okay, cue the sunset time lapse now. Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new adventure with Rabbi's Tours. This one takes us to Snowdonia, North Wales and Chester. First stop, boarding the Rabbi's bus in Manchester and meeting our guide. Arrived in Manchester and... <laughs> this time I am not alone, so this is Gert, my boyfriend, and we are going to experience Snowdonia and Wales with Ravi together. Okay. Let's go. It is the coldest day of the year so far, so the temperature is going to be no more than kind of five degrees centigrade. Thank you very much, Stefan. That was our lovely guide who you just saw. And not only did he tell us about four degrees in Wales, he also told us that there are more sheep than people in Wales, which I was very excited to find out more about. And then he set the mood just right by playing the Welsh national anthem, which we were listening to here and trying to kind of, you know, get into the groove whilst we were arriving at our first destination. Oh, hey, did not see you there. <laughs> so our first stop today is Conway, and not Conwy, like I thought, learning the first things about how to pronounce Welsh places properly. This is Conway Castle, and so far, it's super impressive. Let's have a look. Fun fact, Conway Castle cost only £15,000 to build at the time. And at this point in the video, I should probably mention that Wales has more castles than any other country in the world. So there might just be a few more in this video. You know, this is the prison tower you just walked into, yeah? <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's called the prison tower. So pretty here. <laughs> Something else to see in Conway is the smallest house in Great Britain. Exactly one person fits upstairs and one person fits downstairs. I would have loved to show it to you today. It's closed until next season, but let's, I mean, I'm sure you can imagine. What are we going to have now? Fish and chips. <laughs> okay, here he goes. And so we headed to the fisherman's fish and chip shop in Conway. I feel like there is no trip to anywhere in the UK without fish and chips. And the good thing about Rabbies is that they always tell you the best restaurants in the town that you're in, so you never have to search long. Next, we made our way to take a peek at Mount Snowdon and before that stopped by a beautiful yet super windy lake. My microphone was unfortunately not strong enough. Here is a taster. This is ridiculous. It's like so pretty and Mount Snowdon is somewhere over there. But I'm actually struggling to hold the camera. And finally, a short peek at Mount Snowdon, the highest mountain in Wales. Let me freeze the frame for you so that you can actually see it. Here we are, it's the one in the middle. And Stefan, our guide, told us that it is a very shy mountain. So we were actually lucky to see it, well, almost see it fully that day. Took me a little while to learn how to pronounce the name, but I have learned it. We are in Bet-Gellet. Bet Bet <laughs> Bed Gillet. Bed It's super, super picturesque. It's actually got a vibe of Dean Village, which is in Edinburgh, if you've ever been. I feel like we're gonna have some ice cream. I know it's ice cold today, but Stefan, our guide, said that they have the best ice cream in Wales. So, what do you say? I say yay. <laughs> ice cream, ice cream. Okay guys, it's that time of the video again. You can win a postcard. I've just picked one up in that little shop down there. And do comment below with your favorite scene from this video, what moved you the most, and I will pick my favorite comment and I will send you the postcard wherever you are in the world. Good luck. <laughs> so guys, you would... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so as normally you would associate gelato with Italians, but guess what, we are in Wales and this is supposed to be the best place some gelato so we're gonna go and get some right now <laughs> very good rum and raisin yeah i want to taste that one yeah. mm. Mm. no that's not for me i've already made my decision what did you go for <laughs> i 
<laughs> so I have to laugh. I have got rum and raisin because it was the most Christmassy flavour and it is the 1st of December today, I think. What have you got? Um, I went for the pistachio. <laughs> and the best thing is, it's not even melting because no. it's so cold outside. And for the evening, we headed to a little town on the coast of Wales called Abba. The hotel had an interesting colour scheme, and as usual, I was confused by the tabs, but we thought overall the hotel was cute and homey. <laughs> okay, so we are ready for dinner, right? <laughs> I think it's literally like minus three degrees outside, so it's all wrapped up. Let's go. Super tired but extremely happy, we enjoyed our dinner and wondered what we were going to discover tomorrow. Well, I can tell you now that the next part has me trying Welsh rabbit, the promised sunset of course, more castles, a scary butler ghost and fairies. So do stay tuned and don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. I will see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>